we're going to do an ellipse okay and with an ellipse you have a major axis and a minor so the major is the big one so we're going to make that four meters and we're going to make the minor two meters <laughs> so to start off with we're just going to do across four meters by two so again i'll burn my copper peg in the ground and we'll just hook it over and again because of the toggle i'll have to just take that into consideration and add a couple of centimeters for that so i'm going to do what i'm going to do now yeah yeah is i'm going to do four knock a peg in at four so that's my major axis and then all you do is you get a square i've made a little square here and i'm going to put that at the halfway on the two meters and i'm going to measure one meter that way and put a peg in and one meter the other way okay so we're going to just measure from here we'll just push that out there a little bit push that over there so i'm going to start here i'm going to measure a meter put a peg in the ground there okay and then out here I'm going to extend that so I'm halfway down the major through to my two meter mark okay push that in the ground and there we go so I've got that then what you do is whatever your major axis is you have it so half of four meters is going to be two and what we do then is we swing this tape and where it cuts the major axis that is where I now transfer this peg to that point and I do the same again over here I don't need my square now so I just put that away so again where it cuts through I've got my two meters cutting it there so I'm going to just pull that out pop that into there and that is going to form now that's my triangle I need to mark out the rest so all I need now is a, a string, a piece of string, and I need to just join it up to form the triangle. So we'll just do that, just wind that in. So, next step. I basically get my string, hopefully it's not like this, not too wound up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to tie this piece of string around here, just put a knot in it to start off with, put a double knot if you want to, just leave a bit of a tail, take it round to the first bit, wrap it round there okay not in that one just gotta just get rid of that that's it wrap it round there slide it down to the bottom there we go round there round there back over to here okay and then what you can do is you can now tie the two bits together do a reef knot left over right tie under right over left okay right over left tie under bit of boy scouts oh we've done with being a bit a little bit firmer than that see okay so i'll just wrap that round Do you want another piece of string? <laughs> no, you're alright, it's alright. So all I need is left over right, nice and tight. And what I'll do is like that. And then I'm going to do right over left, pop it under. So I've got a nice, reasonably tight triangle there. And then what we do is we remove this one. So you've now got a floppy piece of string that you can now go around and do your ellipse. So if you want to hang around at the end, you can do this. But just to show it you, what we're going to do is 
get your shake on so you need to shake it up for a couple of minutes make sure it's nice and we'll take the lid off you want this low to the ground and what I do is just pop that in there take up the slack you've got to keep it taut okay fingers either side and then away you keep it low okay and away you go there, pop it over, readjust. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. That's it, just get that. <laughs> okay, again a bit of readjustment. And then hopefully. Something like that. Okay. I'll tell you, give it a go. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Quite easy to mow around, so that's the ellipse. And if you want to hang around later and give that a go, feel free, okay? Marking out an ellipse. When you mark out an ellipse, you have what is called the major axis, which goes on the longest side of the ellipse. And you have the minor axis, which goes vertically. And so what you do is you, first of all, mark out a cross with the major axis and then at 90 degrees halfway you put the minor axis on that's the first part of marking out the ellipse then what you're going to do is you're going to take half the distance of the major axis and you're going to take that and you are going to use the top here as the pivot point or the center of your arc and you're going to scribe an arc and where it intersects the major axis that is going to give you what are called the focal points okay so those two points are really important and that's where you're going to put a pin in so you put a pin in the ground at the two focal points then what you do is you attach the pin from the focal point to the top where the minor axis hit the major and then to the other focal point and back again so you create a triangle out of a piece of string and you tie it off then what you do is you take the top pin out so it leaves the string slack then all you've got to do is to put your spray can or whatever you're marking inside here and stretch it till that line is nice and tight when you've got the line nice and tight you can begin to sort of scratch it round and you can see as long as you keep it tight and swing that round in an arc and then you do the other side you can gradually make the ellipse so it just follows those marks and that's how you make an ellipse it's a useful shape for beds and borders if you want to calculate the um, area of an ellipse it is pi divided by four times the major axis times the minor axis or 0.7854 times the major times the minor and then you can work out how much space one plant takes up and divide that into that total area.